Welcome to episode four of our Japan Diaries, which marks day seven to nine of our five and a half week trip. In this video, we're leaving Nikko and we're headed to Hakone. Each city we've been to in Japan has had its own unique charm. But in saying that, if I could pinpoint two cities that were the most similar, they'd probably be Nikko and Hakone. They both had a lake, they both were surrounded by mountains, we were both sick in Nikko and we had bounced back pretty quickly, but we were still feeling quite slow, groggy and a little weak. So Hakone was like an extra rest stop for us, which was really, really nice. We stayed in a Japanese style room. So these mattresses you just pop on the ground and then you have to set your bed up. We actually spent our first night really just watching Netflix and just chilling out. And after a day of rest, we were both ready to hit the road running and used our Kone Round Course Pass. Foxy. As you can see, it was so foggy. We headed to this little garden and paid a little extra, like literally six bucks extra each to see the art gallery, which was a massive disappointment. I don't know if it's because in Australia or in Sydney anyway, we have the most amazing art galleries. It was a bit of a letdown, but you know what? At least we got to go and yeah, experience it. The garden was really nice though. It was super foggy, so we couldn't see everything. Roses by the stairs. It was also a little Arigato, mystical. It's so foggy. We're currently on the uh, cable car to heaven. <laughs> We're actually on a mountain, but as you can see, it's just completely fog. You just cannot see anything. And you're meant to see Mount Fuji. Oh, you can kind of see the trees now. All of a sudden... Wow. Oh my gosh, this is a bit scary. You smell so Wow, it really smells like hot neck. I wish I could like capture the... Hi world. Jamie and I aren't huge foodies. Like for example, some people when they travel, they really seek out the country's food. We're both more experiences and landscape travelers. Handsome face. Not my best view. Let's sit by the window. Black curry bread. Try black curry bread for the first time. What does it taste? Is it good? Yeah. Oh. One thing about this little segment in Hakone was that we were kind of keen to seek out different street foods and foods that we hadn't eaten before. Ooh. Does it taste like egg? No. It doesn't. The yellowest ice cream I've ever done seen. Which one do you prefer? They're both good. Given that I was pretty crook when we hopped in our cruise in Nikko, it was actually really special to be fully there and present when we jumped on the cruise in Hakone. This time we were going on a pirate ship type cruise, which was really cool. Very serene, it was very beautiful.
trying all sorts of street food today. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Is it sticky? Okay. Mm. Honestly guys, I think one thing that's been really surprising is that it hasn't been as hot here. In fact, I was literally wearing two jackets until like five minutes ago. It's actually quite chilly, but it's beautiful. As Jamie found, it was quite a high-reviewed restaurant. It's got a cup of pickles. So we've kind of demolished it. It's a burger. We've got the teriyaki burger. And burger wraps. Last morning in this place. Hakone was a very restful, very needed part of our trip. The city itself was quite charming and we really did enjoy our time. Next week, I can't wait to show you guys what we got up to in Kyoto. It was probably one of my favorite ever legs of our trip. From Harry Potter World to Super Nintendo World to Monkey Parks to Thousand Tory Gates, Kyoto was truly magnificent. make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure to click subscribe as I'll be sharing more videos like this in the weeks to come.